Well, we know social media can be a breeding ground for misinformation, especially when it comes to this vaccine. And the Verified team is here to go to the experts to find out what's real, what's not. Today, we're talking about posts like this one. Quote, Biden's COVID-19 task force recommends withholding food stamps from vaccine refusers. So let's verify. Is this claim in fact true? We started by taking a closer look at the online posts. Many link to an article on a website called the truth about vaccines.com. Same article has been shared on many other websites as well. The post references someone named Dr. Luciana Borio. Back in November, the Biden Harris transition team announced that she would be on a COVID-19 advisory board. The article claims that Borio quote says that people who refuse to be vaccinated should be deprived of food stamps and rent assistance End quote. And then it links to this July report as supposed proof. It was put together by the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security and Texas State University. Borio is listed as one of the 23 members on the working group tasked with mapping out the best way to disperse a vaccine. But the claim that food stamps would be held back if people refuse a vaccine is not in fact included in this paper. Here's what the report does say about food stamps. The working group recommended that public health agencies quote, bundle vaccination with other safety net services so people can access the vaccine more easily, saying this, quote, could be a way to build trust and streamline vaccine provision. We reached out to the two chairs of the working group, Monica Schock from the Johns Hopkins Center for Health and Security and Emily Brunson from Texas State University. They confirmed that they were recommending vaccines be available alongside other services. But here's the key quote. We do not advocate that such social supports ever be withheld in connection with an individual's vaccination status. So we can go ahead and verify this claim. If you're seeing it on your social media feed and plenty of people are went viral, that claim is false. They did not suggest that services like food stamps be withheld if people refuse a vaccine. Hey, a lot of vaccine misinformation right now. There's a lot of truth out there as well. Make sure that you're getting things verified before you share it. I'm on Facebook and Twitter. You can send me an email, crogers2 at kcentv.com.